Hello everyone, it's DJZ32 back again with another edition of What's on Kickstarter. So let's see what's going on. I've actually uh, sorted everything by newest, so we're looking at new projects first, so we might as well. Uh, and I haven't seen a variety of uh, some of these anyways. Okay, <laughs> seeing something that I don't like. First of all, we got Medusa Point Guards, which apparently has seven marking systems. Why would you need seven marking systems? And what the hell do all these entail? I don't know. It's by Antonio Cassese. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. There's too many A's and C's in there. 20% funded, 39 days to go. The back design looks, you know, nice at first glance. Yeah, it's it's got a lot of detail in it. Medusa for the Jokers. Apparently he is some magician. I'm not familiar with him. That is for sure. It's, I mean, it's not a bad back design. It's got a lot of detail. Maybe a little too much detail in my opinion. Uh, sometimes too much of a good thing is not good. Comes in in a Monica stack. Seven different marking systems. Completely custom, apparently. Put about part of Mundi, but two of them would be nice. Finish. Uh, a double facer and a duplicate card as well. Eight of spades. And they send you that. Um, it's a PDF with information on the marking systems. Well, I, maybe it's not too much detail. It, it actually is pretty nice. It reminds me of the circle back tile just a bit. It's not bad. I'm curious about the marking systems. Now, they say completely custom, but then I look at that jack of diamonds. That's not completely custom. <laughs> uh, it's modified at best. The ace of spades is a cobra, which is pretty cool. And Medusa snakes, I guess. Maybe you see Medusa. Don't look. You might turn to stone. Nope, didn't happen. <laughs> I guess it only works with the real Medusa, not a picture. Uh, slightly modified number cards. Alright, nothing too exciting. And then the court cards, I mean, they've been modified, they've been simplified, they've been recolored. But they're basically just standard court cards, so that's not what I would say, what I would call custom. They did modify the pips and the indexes as well, just a little bit. Um, so that is that. The double facer is a queen of hearts with an ace of clubs. It's kind of made for magicians. Why magicians? I don't know why you need so many parking systems, but... What it is. Ah, so it tells you the position in the deck. And it'll be revealing the markings day by day. So that's kind of interesting. They're going to be revealing them as you go along. He's got some magic tricks on here as well. Apparently he is from Lost Ark Magic, which also includes Lance Miller. I don't seem to be familiar with the name. Xavier Spade and Eric Jones. The other guys are I'm not familiar with them. And apparently there's a stretch call for a unmarked white version. An unmarked version, also a white version, and a gaff deck. Thirty thousand dollars. They're really reaching for the sky here. Anyways, we'll see what happens with this one may or may not fund. Then we got watercolor point cards by Emma Holt. 5% funded 28 days to go. It looks weird. <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, maybe not weird is not a good word to use. Um, hmm. Basically, they got some, they've modified the face. They, they customized the faces. They all got like watercolors on them. They're all painted up. Very simple joker. They're not showing us a whole lot, which is disappointing. Looks like pretty simple court cards and jokers. 
And if I had to guess, I'd say this is the back design with all four pips on it, which is absolutely horrible if that's the back design. Uh, it's lackluster. See it here again. Four pips. That's, I assume it's the back design, but it's not great. Not great at all. The faces, they put effort into, into them. Each car apparently has a different watercolor pattern. And they've modified it. They've customized the core card, even though it's simple, from what we can tell. But the back design, if that isn't kept the back design, is just horrible. In my opinion. And I don't see it funding as a result. What was the goal on that? I'm curious. Seven thousand dollars. No, there's no tax in hell this funds. I'm sorry. If this funds, I give up I'm playing on collecting playing cards. Um, there we got Top Secret Press Elite Series Free Corp Silver Edition. Eh, it's half naked women. It's repetitive. It looks like every card in the suit is going to have the same woman on them. Well, that's kind of lame. It's by Top Secret Press. 16% fund with 28 days to go. Should not fund, but it probably will because of a low goal. Uh, but you see here, the spades, it's all the same thing. Fortunately, they centered it. <laughs> oh, wow. $2,400 US. Kind of hope it doesn't fund. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And they're not really showing us anything else. And you can get all their other crappy decks as well, still, apparently. I don't know who buys all these decks, but not anyone that I know <laughs> in the card community. That's for sure, at least I don't think. Moving on, they got this, which I'm not a fan of, uh, by Dylan Prescott. It's a subscription service for his card cracking playing cards. Why is everyone doing this now? It's funded, exactly funded. It had like a dollar goal, I guess. Four hours to go. He just launched this yesterday. Zero seconds to go. What happened to that? Why does it say zero seconds to go? I'm confused. It said four hours to go previously. Okay, now it says three hours to go. Five backers, and they've each pledged $100. There's a $100 goal. $90 for a subscription to get three decks. $180 to get six. $360 to get a brick. $600 to get 24 decks. Nobody's done that. They don't even have 24 decks. They're out. <laughs> two people pledged a hundred dollars, and two people pledged ninety dollars. Are you idiots? I mean, no offense or anything, but this is just silly. A subscription a subscription service to a guy who's got three, four, five, or six decks that he's produced so far, and they're all overpriced. Free shipping. Well, geez, I should think so with those prices you're charging. It better be free shipping. <laughs> to be uh, express shipping at those prices. Anyway, uh, yeah, these are some of the decks he designed. They're not great at all, in my opinion. Uh, Ruby playing cards relaunched by JTRIX playing cards. 10% funded, 36 days to go. I still don't think it's going to happen. Come on. I don't care what he's backed. <laughs> really? It's a relaunch of the previous Ruby deck. It looks like it's the same thing. I'll have a quick look. Even the same images. Wow. You can even get a prototype deck for a hundred bucks. Are you kidding? I get prototype decks for free. Why would I pay a hundred bucks? Never mind, a hundred bucks, that's just obscene price for a, a prototype deck. It's not, I mean, for a deck that nobody cares about. <laughs> it's not worth it. Um, ten dollars for a deck, seven thousand dollar US gold. What was, last time he had seven percent funded, so he surpassed that just a little bit. 
Last time I had a $10,000 goal, and it was still the same price. 20 backers this time. <laughs> he had, uh, in the previous project of a $10,000 goal, he had $739 pledged with 31 backers. And now he's got currently 20 backers of $725 pledged. Do you really think this is going to fund? Last time he couldn't even get $1,000. He doesn't have $1,000 yet. This is Canadian currency, by the way. $725. There's no chance in how this is going to fund. I don't think it's just, there's no changes. It's the exact same thing from what I can tell. It's ridiculous that you'll try again. Next, we got Astral Skulls Poker Playing Cards. Halloween Special by Marcel Hartzell. It is funded because it had a very low goal four days to go. Not a fan of this creator. Always wants to decks with super low goals. But, whatever, you must have a lot of money. $99 gold. At least it's not half-naked women like most of his other decks. But it's just a very generic skull along the faces. A very cheap imitation, poor imitation of a skull and bones deck on the back design. There's black and there's white. Absolutely horrible in my opinion. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. Like, who would want this deck? <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have to just absolutely be a diehard fan of skulls to get this deck. You'd, you'd have to have skulls all over your house. I don't know who else would want this deck. <laughs> Next, we got the Revenge of the Devil Cat by X Zone. 88% funded 10 days ago. And I'm sorry if I'm being like, overly critical or negative about some of these decks, but geez, at least I haven't seen anything that great this week so far. That's about the change. Uh, <laughs> so, Revenge of a Devil Cat. Good word. It sounds horrible already. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> $800 Hong Kong Go, which is about a thousand dollars US, apparently. Um, hmm. Well, they've customized the faces or modified them. There's custom pips. The back design is a horrible one-way design with cats and fists. I mean, that's the back design? Why? What on earth are you thinking? That's just, just terrible, in my opinion. The code cards are, they're okay. I mean, they've customized them. They're cartoony. They're just cats. I mean, the jokers. And you get some cat details in the pips. Yeah, cat eyes. It's <laughs> quite interesting. Uh, they're using. They said they select the best manufacturer for producing poker. Our suppliers using the Germany machine brand called Heidelberg for printing that must go. Thought nine process to complete the whole project. Oh my God! Please learn English before you do a project in English because that's just horrible. Nobody likes to support a creator who has so many grammatical errors in the project. It just looks unprofessional. And I guess before they did the Starry Sky deck, which was at least a little half decent, interesting. <laughs> um, no offense to the creators, and I know English isn't your first language. It's not easy, but that, you just saw what I read there. That's pretty, pretty horrible. Uh, moving on, we do got something good, fortunately. The Pinocchio coin cards by Passion Dream funded 25 days to go. I mentioned this one a couple times before, I believe. It's very nice to get two decks, a red one and a blue one. And there's also a, a special tuck you can get as well. There's the Sapphire and the Vermilion. Honestly, Sapphire is blue, Vermilion is red. Printed by USB-C with metallic inks, foil tucks. Um, Tucks are apparently by gamblers, and both decks have different faces. Also, apparently, there is clues and secrets within the deck, some kind of mystery. There's also the Colodis Pinocchio, which is a special limited edition, which is a double 
that case with both tags in it and 500 is also introduced and there's also a booklet available this is the color this Pinocchio it's similar to one that I got with what was it the Telegraph or something like that one of the previous decks where it opens up like a book and you get both decks inside very nice decks, lots of detail in the back design, lots of line work. They're both very interesting. Mirror image, nice colors. And I like that there's different shades of color, of the reds and blues. Adds to it. Beautiful custom court cards, custom pits, fonts, everything, the whole spiel. I like it. And fortunately, there's information on who eats court card is, I hope. Pretty nice though, overall. Blue pips for the hearts and diamonds in the one deck. And red in the other deck. Very nice artwork. I like it. Can be printed. It's going to look great with the tile paints. Foils on the tough cases. There you see, we had that tough case. Pretty cool. In the book definitely worthwhile checking out. I do recommend it. And these are all the decks that we've done before. There's the one I was thinking of the Inverno. I got one of those cases like that. Um, they're all, all nice decks. I like it. I recommend checking them out if you haven't. And definitely check out this one. The Electra. There's the designer of the deck. Queen of Pinocchio Point Cards. Very interesting picture. So that is that. Definitely worth checking out. If there's any projects to check out this week, that would be the one. Next up, we got Zone Point Cards by Pokeball, which is very well funded. 15 days to I'm not surprised it's fun funded. Um, what about the USB-C? How many days left again? 15 days to go. All right. Right, uh, five thousand only limited to five thousand decks. Well, I'll just wait. <laughs> There's no reason to back the project. I'll just get it later on. Maybe <laughs> this one has got the weirdest toughest I've ever seen for playing cards because apparently the Boca Bowl has decided they're just gonna pull out every weird tough case they can out of their ass. <laughs> this is a tough case that for some reason. Opens from both ends, as you can see there in that picture. From the top and the bottom. Why would you want that? Like, what if the cards would fall out the other end? I mean, eventually it's going to break or something. I don't know. Uh, it's an interesting concept. I mean, I'll give them that. But is it really necessary or practical or needed? No, not in my opinion. The back design is okay. Very cardistry friendly. Don't recall if I saw what the faces look like. What, the brick box doesn't open on both ends? <laughs> it's interesting colors, I think. Oh yeah, okay, there is a bit of a different color here in the middle that adds a little bit more to it. I can see those being popular for spinning or flooring and stuff like that. Definitely for floors and cars. And that's why it's so well funded. The faces, um, they are customized. They're not bad. I mean, not my favorite type of pips, but they're all right for what they are. And nice, custom, simple court cards. Very simple, simplistic. You know, it's one that I'll definitely look at later on for sure. Murphy's or something like that. So moving on, we got, I think this is the last new one for this week, the signature playing cards, also USB-C printed by Tricks and Beats. 35% funded, 20 days to go. Let's have a look at this thing. Aha. Hmm. There is a hidden marking system, only 1500 being printed. Made for magicians, 14 euros for a deck, as well as free 
free tricks and death cards, free magic via tutorials, and explanation to go to more than just one. Very nice. So except for card is apparently playing card enthusiasts or collectors. Everyone else loves playing cards. Aha. Uh -huh. So basically it's a back design made up of the logo with the TV, uh, the logo in the center in a slightly different color. Apparently it's the best marking system in the world, or one of the best. Um, don't they all say that? <laughs> Apparently for just what to go. And then we get to the court cards. Custom faces basically. Look at that. The king of spades is him. Wonderful. The queen of spades is probably his wife. And I imagine. The other court cards. They look fairly standard. The jacks represent his friends in the magic community. None of which I've ever heard of before. Um... I mean, it's fine, but personally, I prefer to not have a deck of cards that has a bunch of random faces that nobody's ever heard of before. <laughs> well, you want to put your friends in there and everything, but... Okay, that's what I look at. It's great that you want to put your friends in the deck of cards, or maybe immortalize your friends in the deck of cards, or whatever. But, do backers really care? And personally, I don't think so. <laughs> They, I mean, they're not known magicians, they're people nobody's familiar with, so I don't think most people care. The Ace of Spades, I'm not a fan. I understand they want to use their logo, but at this point in time, with their logo being all over the back design, it's on the Jokers, it's probably on all the faces, is it not? It's not, somehow, very surprisingly, but, I mean, it's kind of overkill to have it on the Ace of Spades, and it just doesn't look good. I would prefer a more traditional Ace of Spades. Or at least put it inside the Ace of Spades, you know. I'm kind of surprised they didn't incorporate the logo on the court cards somewhere, somehow. Seems like a lost opportunity. There's also some death cards, it looks like. Half Queen of Hearts and a blurry Seven of Clubs. It's not a great tough case, it's very simple. It's backwards, by the way. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, this picture is backwards, because here it's showing a back design on the back, so that's good. Um, hmm. I don't know, it's a very simple deck, I guess. <laughs> it's an okay deck, it's not, not, you know, my cup of tea, I would say, probably. All right. That's it for you stuff this week. Let's go on to other stuff. I wish I had thought of this idea before to help the newest projects first. Because that's what I'm doing anyway. But anyway, uh, Angels and Demons Art Cards, uh, Art Point Cards by Anna the Donners is 31% on the 23 days to go. I don't see it happening. Likewise, Candy Shop by Rana Mahmood, 31% on the 23 days to go. I also don't see it happening. Chaos Point Cards, my Xavier Caffrey is 41% point of 22 days to go. I'm not sure it's going to happen either. Betrayers Point Cards by Fridway Industries is well funded for this to go. Also worth checking out. Uh, might I say I just got his last project the other day. Mm, very nice. Uh, can't go wrong with his decks. Omega Point Cards by Galaxy Designs has funded with 21 days to go. Master Leia Point Cards by Shizzle Entertainment Group, which was an okay deck. It's fun that 21 days to go, it's actually, in my opinion, a nicer version of the Angels and Demons theme than that one. Then we got... Black Cat Point Cards by Salad Grind, 99% fun of 21 days to go. I think it's gonna fun. <laughs> I have a hunch. It's a small feeling. Mirage Playing Cards by Full Custom 52 is fairly well funded. 13 days to go. Bips 
39 crypto point cards by Randy Genick is 1% funded 10 days to roll. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Mongol Empire point cards by Roland Kotiv is uh, well funded as well, 16 days to go. King cards by Fawn CC, 10% funded, 23 days to go. I don't see it happening. Then is the Fibonacci playing card deck by CT Kevin K, which I believe is a relaunch. 24% funded, 28 days to go. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Don't think it is, really. Circus by Will Royer, also very well worth checking out. Funded, 16 days to go. Bicycle Marvel point cards by Max and Collectible point cards. 66% funded, 13 days to go. It's struggling just a little bit again. I actually, you know, question why they have such a high goal because most collectible point card projects have a goal that's four, five, six thousand dollars. This is double that. I don't understand why it's so high. Let's see if you responded to my comments. It's just talking about he's never had so many issues to fund. Apparently it's already under the cost of the production. I agree with that. It should be stretch goals. Um, Moving on, Don't Kill the Messenger by No Man's Playing Cards is funded, 11 days to go. It's a pretty nice looking deck for the most part. Technique Signature Edition by Christopher Severson is funded, 8 days to go. Trumped Up Playing Cards, Make Them Play Again by Liz Zeiser, 53% funded, 11 days to go. I don't see it happening. Hopefully, it has a better chance of funding than. The Republicans do with having it, winning in the election coming up. <laughs> um, composition deck by Penguin Magic is funded seven days to go. Not my cup of tea at the moment, anyway. And Rose Point Cards by Nicholas L is 88% funded, six days to go. It looks like it may make it, but who knows? It may not. Woman Cards, oh, sorry, Lit Playing Cards. By Docs Playing Cards is funded six days to go. Okay. Women Cards Go Power by Zach Walls is well funded seven days to go. Not a surprise. Sanctum Playing Cards by Jim Jackson is 60% funded four days to go. It's not going to happen unless we get some major support at the end. Merz Deck First Edition by Zach Merzada is funded. Wow, look at that number. 6666. Six, six, six. Is that bad luck or something? I hope not. <laughs> um, it's 222% funded, good grief, with three days to go. There's just some weird numbers there. Master Series Funk and Foreign Cards by Handlords is well funded, three days to go. Nebula by Philip Atherton is 22% funded, three days to go, I don't see it happening. Innovate is a Punk, playing cards by Sniffin' Punk, 5% funded, three days to go. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Why do we have to see Donald Trump's face so many times on Kickstarter? Good grief. Stop making games with his face on it. Or with his name on it. Do something else. Solo Synoptis Point Cards by Ascension Point Cards, 9% funded, 8 days to go. Don't see it happening. The Weed Deck by Van Barrett Forrest is well funded, 6 days to go. Designed because weed is now legal in Canada. So I'll uh, smoke on that, Americans. I don't smoke, I don't want to smoke, but 
these people can here if they want, I guess. Magic M Y N R deck by Modest is 15% under 16 days to go. It is not going to happen. And that is that. The point cards on Kickstarter. I apologize if this video is a little bit longer. It's about half a thickness. Stay tuned. I will do another one with other decks, other stuff going on. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.